Laka mensen and welcome to the South African lawn. All right. Hello, Laka Owens. Welcome to another video. The 9th of the 9th month today, 9th of September. And uh, I just want to give you a, a short update here. Okay, so the green is looking rather okay. So it's a bit brown because I added humic acid just now. And uh, the other worrying factors are bear patches. And uh, the, which, which I'll just have to be patient about, okay? Because I can't add, go and add seed now and too much water. Why? Because I'm scared I introduce more fungus, okay? So I'm just gonna wait until it's a bit more mature, probably in the next few days. I think it's mature enough now. Then I would start plugging from the, the sides here, wherever, into the bare area so that it can start creeping from there. Another worrying factor is the increasing number of small bear patches and uh, those are those those are the dog she wheezes now on the green she thinks it's the place to do those things and that unfortunately burns and kills that uh, green of mine wherever she wheezes however for the Kentucky bluegrass it's looking rather okay it's holding on also moving into a different difficult very difficult time of the year for me once again we've got very poor soil on the top area of this lawn and secondly very very low humidity and no rain causes for a struggle to keep this thing hydrated and cool down uh, through this period of time i found that when it starts raining or like rain um, more often in november or whenever it starts then this thing recovers with the amount of water i've also had an influx of lots of weeds here this uh, creeping wood sorrel or yellow oxalis easily confused with uh, what's that other thing? Clover. But it is far tinier. I've just sprayed them out yeast now, the day before yesterday, and they are starting to, to choke out. So I had a mixture there of uh, MCPA, 2,4-D and dicamba, as well as peak. What is the actual, I can't even, I don't know what the active ingredient of peak is. If I remember to put it in here, I'll put it in there. Sprayed it, so we'll see if I can get that under control. But other than that, looking okay, Owens. Have a look there. Lacquer. Okay, so as you can see, all the flowers are starting to spring alive and all those lacquer things that comes with spring and unfortunately some of the bad things also come with spring like uh, insects and those type of things and fungus well not really fungus because it's so dry and whatever but you know your worms and insects really also come out of dormancy now if you get what i'm saying so if you have a look here there where my bri is um around the pole here yeah. at first i thought it's the actual paint of the pole killing it but then i realized that now hold on there's a lot of killing going on here and at first i thought it's just a lack of sunlight you know because as you can see there just have a look there as the afternoon sun could like there i wasn't worried about that but now like there i thought like you know it's maybe a lack of sunlight but it's not because if you inspect it a little bit closer okay sorry it looks disgusting because the compost tea is running down my wall here yeah. But if you pull this back, you can actually see some ants going on there. So I don't know, like I pulled this back a minute back, so a lot of them. So wherever you, you pull back the grass, you can actually see um, some ants. It's probably going to be difficult. Hold on, let me see. Okay, so I want to show you here. If you, if you look a little bit closer, you can actually see the ants in between the grass. And when you pull them back, you get like, you can really see... A lot of them and i don't know why they choose to live against the wall like check there guys um but it's probably because it can't cave in as easily so that's probably why they choose that area uh, but i'm gonna treat it today just with a normal like um household product and see if we can get it under control that might give it away i nearly did the entire application without filming okay so very simply today i'm gonna hoi this which every every South Africans should know. Blue death. Not sure why they call it blue death. I understand the bottle is now blue, but I mean this powder is white and it clearly says multi uh, insect powder for gardens and homes. So I've used this many, many times in my garden before and it literally controls anything. How effective it is, I don't know. Um, we'll have to see. You know, if it can kill ants, then it's pretty, pretty effective. I'm pretty sure um, but it kills everything have a look there you know white worm grasshopper cmr beetle shield bug thrip what the thrip okay white grub 
uh, lief op krieke, termoot, kettepille, ant, en is dis, 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 beetle. All those things. From this white cremora. Okay, so normally what I do is, I use this product in the house, but I'm going to use it now in my garden and see if it's effective. If it's not, then I'll spray something. But I'm just going to gooi like this, okay? Probably want to keep your dogs away from this area for a short little while. Okay, guys. Try to not inhale the dust there. Uh, but that's probably all you have to do. Because they will now carry that, that white dust on their backs there. Let's see if I can show you those ants there in the corner. Those little buddies. Into the nest and hopefully they will kill them. I'm very, very sorry if we've got pro ant people out there. Um, or rather, you know, you know, I'm also keeping bees under my rock there, so I'm not all bad news. Sorry. Yeah, so I've treated more or less the entire area here. And the thing that really triggered me to come and look for insects and those type of things was that I saw an increase of kill off. Probably because of the weather that makes it worse. worse. So if it stays wet, it probably doesn't kill off as easily. Uh, but really I could see this grass dying. Uh, not really a lack of growth, if I can put it to you that way. So really if you, if you pull on, on the plant, you can feel that it's not very strong there. So I'm pretty sure these... buggers are like messing up the root system of these plants um, and then carrying those roots probably down into the nest or whatever. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not very good with insects uh, but that's that's my thought really. So it's killed off the grass and now I'm treating because of that and that's not really the thing I want to talk to, to you about today. The thing I want to say is remember the issues that you've had in your lawn last year or keep an, a close eye on the things that go wrong in your lawn this year and try and prevent them next year so this is obviously an area that i'll have to check out for um, but you know what all these things are normally um, controllable if you follow like the directions properly i've had termites here before i've had grubs here before only time will tell whether there'll be an issue this year again last year i didn't see so much um, but yeah all these things i've had quite effective results on treating these issues in my lawn okay but all in all, the lawn is looking flippin' lacquer. And on that note, I think we're going to wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching. Um, send me all your questions on Instagram. DM me there, and I'll try and answer your questions if you have any. Uh, but yeah, very excited, especially for gardening and, and lawning. You know, it's now the season has now come for us to start enjoying our time outside yeah how lucky is the weather and so just hopefully we get good rain this year but yeah that's going to wrap up this video thank you so much for watching guys we'll see you in the next video if you enjoyed this video remember smash the like button also hit the bell thing so you get notified when i post a video subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video bye bye so yeah i've also planted a lacquer tree here it's a bit stunk out so basically the same as as that oaky right there um, and I took it, well, Jomo took it from the ground. Let me not take credit for what he did, but he didn't take any of the actual soil on the root ball. <laughs> so that was like two clean roots that we just stuck into the ground, yeah? So I shall be very surprised if this oaky actually gets to make it. It's in the ground now for probably close to a month and it's still soft. It hasn't died. Um, it's not shooting like the other trees, um, but time will tell whether this oaky takes. I'll probably get a good indication over the next month or two. So very excited for this. Uh, it's obviously going to provide a lot of shade for my briar, especially in the in the afternoons here, in, in about 10 years time, you know, when it's actually big. Yeah.